Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and today I'm going to show you my mini lathe that I got last year but I'm making its video now. I didn't make this video before because I didn't had all the tools for it to get operated there for the delay and also I don't use lathe machines much because I generally make videos related to alternators, DC motors and generators but it is very useful in like shaft coupling projects like if you have a DC motor of 8mm shaft and you have uh, some piece or a pulley and that has a bore size of 9 mm then you can cast a piece with 8 mm bore size and an outer diameter of 9 mm that fits them both perfectly uh, the lathe machine usually contains nylon gears at the back but I also opted for the metal gears so these are the metal gears that I got although I have not uh, replaced the nylon gears let's first use the nylon gears and uh, if they wear out or something happens to them then I always have the final metallic gears that are going to work perfectly and are much more stronger. Now the power rating for my lathe machine is only 550 watts and the swing diameter is 180 mm. So that makes it uh, less power consuming and much more efficient plus it also has DC motor. It's not an induction motor but on DC motor, permanent magnet DC motor to be specific. You can see here guys that it has a display that indicates the working RPM. This is the headstock, uh, the chuck that is going to hold the cylindrical piece and uh, the key for opening up the chuck is this one and the jaw is opening you see so guys this is the on off switch okay and uh, this is forward and reverse okay you see pointed at zero at the moment and uh, this right side is uh, left side is sorry forward yeah right side is reverse and this is the speed controlling knob at present pointed at zero as we increase it max pointed at 2500 rpm these are all the accessories that you will get if you opted for a metallic gearbox and guys you'll also get this more taper which initially came with this piece attached to it although center drilling was very important for me because of which i had to buy this piece separately you can see it's jd6 with a maximum size of 13 mm okay so center drilling was important so i had to buy this and i also had to buy a few center drilling drill bits okay which i got last year from bang goods so yeah and uh, this key for this chuck piece and this i got from a friend of mine he gave it for free so i thought about trying it if it does not work out i will have to buy a new one so guys let's start by placing this center drill chuck jt6 to the tail stock and you see this uh, this slot this will go this side okay like this and then you have to simply slide in yeah now uh yeah i forgot to tell you that when you have slided it in then it is still rotating okay then you keep rotating it and then slightly tighten this piece up okay you see now it's a little tightened and then you'll hear a clicking sound okay i will do it once again for you okay 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 so that was the clicking sound i'm not sure if you heard it you will hear it and then uh, once you do that then tighten it up a, a little more so that it does not leave the slot this piece does not leave the slot and then you simply move it in anti-clockwise and you see that it is moving backwards and bring it as much back as possible yeah yeah that's it and then if uh, uh, that's the length you need simply tighten up from here and it's jammed so guys without any further delay let's start the test i mean give it a spin okay so first turning it on you can see uh yeah actually yeah, not right now first you will have to turn this knob which is responsible for forward and reverse movement you see forward and reverse as i showed you in the beginning so turn it like this yeah i am pointing it towards the forward direction at first after that press this green switch you see at present it is showing zero rpm so let's increase the rpm with the help of this knob slowly
you see that it has started running let's increase the rpm at present it is showing around 182 okay more that's 600 rpm You see 597 RPM running pretty smooth. Let's go a little more. One thousand more. More. Yeah, let's reduce it now. Now guys, this what you see is a metal shaft and uh, the size is 8 mm, okay? And uh, you see this fully like thing. It is not perfectly aligned to the center. Now I'm going to connect this 3.7 volts battery to slowly move the shaft so that you can see the wobbly motion. You see, I think you can notice the wobbly motion. It is not perfectly aligned. So guys, here as you can see that I've placed the shaft inside this plastic pulley like this. Now this piece is steady on the 8mm metal shaft. So let's bring this piece closer. So guys starting it slowly. Well I think more is needed. Now guys if we talk about the smoothness of the surface it is really smooth and even as well although this part is left out uh, so I might have to remove uh, two or three layers more. Okay so removing another layer. So guys now that I have removed two more layers you see that now it is smooth from all the places okay completely smooth now guys let's try the same thing with this metal piece so guys here as you can see that this time I've placed the metal piece over here okay it's a little loose but let's try it well this time I'm going to work on the metal piece so I have to place some oil on the workpiece as well as the tool itself So guys that's the surface finish closer like I'm not completing this part but I believe that you got the idea on how to do it and how it performs and yes this piece works pretty good that is for sure that I got from my friend so guys thanks for watching this video please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe